Greetings everyone, welcome to Future Press's boss strategy series. My name is Franz, and today we're going to be fighting the Belfry Gargoyles. Now this is one of those fights that just invariably ends up turning into a DPS race. So before you come here, you're going to want to stack every form of damage output you possibly can. The Ring of Blades, Weapon Buffs, Resin, anything you can do to up your damage you're going to want to do. You can start attacking the first gargoyle actually right when you first enter before he's even done waking up. And as I've done here, if you're quick about it, you can finish him off before the fight really even starts. So that puts you ahead a little bit. And you're going to want every possible advantage you can stack for this fight, because no matter what you do, you're always going to be outnumbered. You'll always have to fight at least two gargoyles at a time. And once you get a gargoyle's health down to about 50%, or when you've distributed approximately that amount of damage across multiple gargoyles, another gargoyle will wake up and join the fight and you'll have to fight three or more at a time. So chip damage does not work here. Once you've got a gargoyle down to about 50% health, you're gonna have to finish him off as fast as you possibly can. Now, we're showing the melee strategy for this fight, but bear in mind that bringing ranged attacks here puts you at a distinct advantage because finding opportunities to attack these guys up close can be very difficult. The most important aspect of this fight, whether you're using ranged attacks or fighting them up close, is not to get greedy and to be patient while you're waiting for your opportunities to strike. And there you go. I would venture to suggest that if you find yourself having a tremendous amount of trouble with this fight, you can always equip the Southern Ritual Band plus two, a few casts of Flame Swathe, bring some Amber Herbs to restore your spell charges, and you can just nuke the Gargoyles from a distance. Here's a quick look at this character's stats and equipment. As always, please feel free to pause the video if you'd like to take a closer look at anything. Also bear in mind that I did this fight with an unfinished faith build, so if this looks a bit weird or not properly balanced, that's why. Thank you for joining us, we hope this has been helpful, and we'll see you guys next time!